Welcome to Lecture Online, and just to make sure that uh, we understood our previous video, which talked about vector notation in two-dimensional motion, we're going to do it again. But in this case, we're going to use three dimensions, so that's why I put two in parentheses there. So, not parentheses, but quotation marks, just to indicate that it's the same principle. And I drew a three-dimensional graph so we can kind of try to see uh, hmm, what that really would look like in the real world. So anyway, if this is our position vector, what would our velocity vector look like? So we can say, well, the velocity vector as a function of time is simply the derivative with respect to time of the position vector. And so that would be equal to 6t squared in the x direction plus 6t in the y direction plus 5 in the z direction. So that means that in the z direction, the velocity would be constant. In the y direction, it would accelerate as a function of t to the first power um, our increase as a function of t, and here the velocity would increase as a function of t squared. So what would happen is, as of course you can see that the position would be zero if, when t is equal to zero, so you start at the origin. First you start to increase the speed along the x equals y axis, but then of course since you're accelerating faster in the x direction, then the position would curve off and then you would slowly uh, curve off and go up in height in the z direction. It's very difficult to draw, but hopefully you can kind of get a feel for that. Okay, now let's take the uh, equation and take the derivative again to find the, um, the acceleration as a function of time. So we're going to take the uh, derivative of the velocity vector. So this is equal to 12t in the x direction plus 6 in the y direction. So this represents the acceleration. Notice in the z direction there's no acceleration, constant speed. In the y direction there is acceleration of 6 meters per second square and of course in the x direction there's an acceleration that is increasing with time. You can see that in the x direction the object will go faster and faster and faster in the x direction, not as fast in the y direction and in the z direction there would be a constant speed going up. And so that's another way of looking at vector notation in multi-dimensional motion in this case. So that hopefully that cemented the concept that we saw in the previous video.